Like I said, I don't want to be cynical or um, negative about it, but you really have to, you, it, it's, you can't assume that anybody's going to research things out and know their product. It's hard to get people to really take interest in what they're doing, which when it's your passion and, and it's your livelihood, this is what you do, you know, and it's you're fully consumed by it, time-wise, mentally, everything else, and then you're trying to put that on to other people, but they really don't get it. It, it makes it a little harder, so that's where you have to make it really simple for them. It's on their phones all the time, and but then they'll say, well, what's a porcini mushroom? And I'll say, well, you're on your phone. Why don't, you, why don't you Google it and tell everybody what it is, you know? Help me out here, you know? Or at least take that much interest in it, you know? So I always had a theory, which uh, is a great theory, and this is more of me just passing this on to anybody else who's interested. I've always told all the cooks that work for me, or sous chefs and servers, that if you take home your menu and you just put it down on the coffee table and get a highlighter pen and go read through your menu and highlight every word that you don't know exactly what it means and look it up. And you know, in the old days, that when you couldn't really just look it up on the computer, you'd use a book, you know, and have that book, the LaRousse Gastronomique, you know.